Captain. Okay. Let's go, Captain. Lavina Island. Milia's gotta be here somewhere. This island isn't huge, so it shouldn't be too hard to find her if we act fast. Do you think Milia got the medicine? She doesn't know that Castle's okay, so she probably thinks time's against her. If only she left a day later, she'd have been so happy to see Castle back in good health. Castle and Lats must be anxiously awaiting our return. Let's find Milia quickly and bring her back. Hmm, maybe one of the locals has seen her. Let's take a look over there. Hi there, we're looking for our companion. Did you see a blonde knight come through in a hurry? Hmm, oh, you mean that lady with the cool sword? That's the one. She's probably looking for some strong medicine. One of our companions is... er... was very ill. Okay, yeah. I took her to my Uncle Brandon's. He has all sorts of crazy medicines. I've tried a few of them myself. Hear that, Captain? Millie is nearby. I hope she's still picking out medicine. Let's get going. I'm guessing you're Brandon? Lily told us about you. Is it true you're a medicine expert? Why? You looking to get taller too? Well, I'm sorry, little lass, but no medicine can do that for you. All I gave Lily was some ordinary candy. She's still growing at her age, so technically... I didn't lie. M uh, medicine that makes you taller? I'm tall enough, thank you. Then again, if you have any extra... Wait, 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 no. We're here for our companion. She's looking for medicine that can cure any wound. You know, that's exactly what that blonde knight asked me for. The best I had was medicine for minor injuries, so I told her to ask the wandering bard over there. Hmm, I knew it couldn't be that easy. Do you think we'll find Milia there? Excuse me, Miss Bard. Did a blonde knight come to see you by any chance? She's our companion. She probably asked you for some strong medicine. <laughs> hmm. Please call me Viviana. The knight you're searching for is headed to the penguin merchant. My music may mend broken hearts, but it sadly cannot tend to broken bones or other bodily ailments. Ah! Penguin merchant! Of course! They're the best general merchants around. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Let's go, Captain! Good to meet you, Mr. Penguin Merchant. We're looking for someone. A blonde knight. Have you seen anyone like that around? Where are your manners? Tatapi the Great Merchant deserves more formality. Wait, are you talking about that odd sardine? The one looking for medicine to cure demon wounds? Yes, that sardine. I mean, that person. Her name's Milia. 
She's our companion. Did she buy some medicine from you, Tatapi? Nope. Demon-related business doesn't pay well in Brelin. Instead, I sold her some information and sent her to the urn of flower beds. Wait, that yellow sardine didn't pay for my service! I don't work for free, you know. Since that knight is your companion, you're also demon hunters, yes? I have an errand you can do to pay off your friend's debt. Oh, but what if we lose track of Milia? Can I leave this to you, Captain? I'll go after Milia myself. Meet me at the Erna flower beds. You! Go eliminate some Tinas outside the castle gate and talk to Nobu. That flounder will understand why you're there when you say that Tatapi sent you. Cute, cute. Met Traveler? <laughs> that was quite the show you put on, huh? Tatapi's errand? <laughs> that cheeky pendant. I gave him the job because he said he could handle it, but here you are in his place. <laughs> oh, let Tatapi know you did away with those troublemakers. Uh, by the way, did you say you're looking for the uh, Erna flower beds? Uh, they're right up ahead. Captain, over here! Are you wounded? I rushed over, but Milia was already gone. By the way, this is Uranil. She has something she'd like to share with us. Ah, your companion made it. Shall we get started? <clears throat> Welcome to the Erna flower beds in the Jewel of Lavina Island. Erna flowers are exceptional at healing wounds and soothing pain. Uh, sorry, but we're just here for our companion. Um, her name is Milia, and... Erna flowers are a miraculous panacea bestowed upon this continent by the goddess Aurora herself. They'll revitalize your joints and moisturize your hair. Don't believe me? All right, then. You there, brave traveler. Go hunt some of the Tinas that have been messing up the flower beds. And in return, I'll let you experience the power of Erna. Captain! Could we use the flowers to cure Castle? Oh, what am I saying? Castle is fine. Still, I think it'd be a good idea to test them out like Uranil insists. What do you think, Captain? Wanna give it a shot? Show me a wound from one of those Tinas, with just a few flower petals. Good. Give it a couple nights, and you won't even remember it was there. Hmm? Still have your doubts, huh? 
Then, allow me to introduce you to the zenith of Lavina Island's blessing. The Piela flower. Look around you. The few purple flowers found scattered amongst the urna are Piela flowers. If an urna flower can heal hundreds of diseases, the Piela can heal thousands. Bring me its seeds and I'll show you. Just the sight of this seed budding, growing, and blooming will make you forget you were ever in pain. There's nothing these fascinating flowers can't do. <laughs> um, you're breathing pretty heavily. Are you okay? Hey, like we said, we just want to know where Milia went. Ah, uh, your night friend went to the twin windmills looking ever so distressed. When you find her... Be sure to pay me another visit. She looked as if she could use my revitalizing flower tea. Distressed? Milia? Th that doesn't sound like her at all. And yeah, sure, we'll come back later. Let's get out of here, Captain. I just can't imagine it. When has Milia ever looked distressed? She even seemed fine when Castle fell. She was so full of hope when she left to find medicine. She better not be thinking of doing anything stupid. Oh, no! Milia! Captain, get to the twin windmills as fast as you can! the twin windmills, right? Still no sign of Milia. Behold! I bring exquisite foods from across the sea! <clears throat> not here to buy anything, eh? Huh? I guess today's just not my day. Well, at least, I still have it better than that sullen blonde sardine. She was so spaced out, she didn't even notice the thieves on her tail. She's probably lost everything by now. You there, starfish! Quit eavesdropping and do me a favor. Go to the prairie and get rid of the Tinos. They're after my goods! Eavesdropping? You were so loud, we couldn't ignore you if we wanted to. Did you hear that, Captain? Milia's by the prairie. He also mentioned thieves. I hope Milia's okay. Let's take a look around. There has to be a witness somewhere. And while we're at it, we may as well deal with those Tinos.
blonde knight, and maybe a pack of thieves following her. Following as in stalking, not like as her companions. She'd never go around with a bunch of thieves. What? Do I seem like I have time to care? Look, just look at this. Look at Sebastian II's delicate little foot. It's wounded. Those damn Tinos. Well, don't just stand there. Teach them a lesson. Can't you see? Poor little Sebastian II is frightened. Now, off with you. Oh, and while you're at it, uh, fetch me the gold coins those Tinos stole. And you'd better not keep them for yourself. if you saw a blonde knight? Hmm. I don't know anything about a knight, but I saw a pack of rude, nasty thieves. Now give me the coins. Huh? What the? These aren't mine. Ah! Those horrid doodles tore out Sebastian II's delicate fur. Those unforgivable. You two, go give them what for. Uh, I can't believe we've been dragged into this. If we don't find Milia, I'm blaming Sebastian. <sighs> Freaking Tynos! They're tougher than they look! Don't let them pull out your hair! <laughs> 